from this tropic board aboard this tiny ship. The mate was a mighty sailing man, skipper bred and sure. Five passengers set sail that day on a three-hour tour. A three-hour tour. Da -da -da -da. The weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed. If not for the courage of the fearless crew, the mail would be lost. The mail would be lost. The ship set ground on the shores of this uncharted desert isle. speaking, and I'm sorry to report that it appears the SS run amok has in fact run amok. <laughs> we will try to assess the situation, rectify the problem, and get you back to Honolulu in time for contest, uh, hopefully. I knew when we learned that darn Gilligan song we were tempting fate. Now we're stranded. There's no sign of life anywhere. So much for sightseeing. All we'll see now is the tide coming in and going out. We should have just stayed in Honolulu and rehearsed. What if we're stuck here forever? Now don't you worry your pretty little head. This Southern Belle is not going to be stranded in the middle of nowhere on some deserted island with all y'all. I mean, Hawaii is simply gorgeous, but I cannot stay. I must get back to the place of my birth. I wish I wasn't Dixie.
cannot believe they were worried about going home. We are in paradise. I could stay here forever and work on my tan. Oh, but what if we never get to see our families again? I, I don't know what I'd do without my Jimmy. I kissed a lot of frogs in my life before I found him. And when I found him, I knew he was the one. been stuck here? I don't. It seems like forever since we've eaten, and I'm getting so hungry. I know what you mean. I mean, it's my first time at contest, and I just want to get on the stage and tell them what I'm all about. Ahoy, mateys! Ahoy, mateys! It's Captain Morgan again, and this time, I'm happy to report that we've finally gotten our ship together, and we're about to sail to Honolulu and get you back to contest. Looks like we're back in business. One, two, three. Now we 